Maybe and now we got a similarly to... uh, climactic battle about to it's grand finals. take place on the battlefield of South Australian Smash. These two titans, yeah. eternally at war couldn't with each have, other. Couldn't have ended any other way. It could not have. Could not of. Sorry. They were destined to battle on this stage. Two absolute legends of the scene. Two kind serious of, heavyweights. Kind of the yin and yang in a, in a lot of ways. And then you got Fox. Falco the yin Falco. of melee and Falco definitely the yang. Wait, what? Say that again? <laughs> Didn't you just say Falco was both the yin and the yang? No, I said, no, I said Fal Falco. Fox is the yin. Falco is the yang. Do you even know which one is which? Yeah, which one's Falco the dark? Is no, which one's dark? Which one's light? The yin and yang. Probably, probably yang is dark. That's the other way around. What's the matter? What a boomer. He doesn't even know. So I bet all the you kids know. You are the biggest weeb I've ever met. <laughs> you know, Ca Caleb might be might end up surpassing me. Because he started down that dark path. I like this uh, shirt. Yeah? It's got a little, little cheater on it. Or a, only a, the, a only, slazinger, if only you will. Only the boomers will remember. Yeah. What is that shirt? It's just the pains the of being pure. <laughs> pure That's a band I liked as a teen. Yeah. I thought they, they like posted that they were selling merch recently and they had like a 10 I woke up in the morning it was like 8am and I was like groggy looking at my computer drinking my coffee mm. and I was like oh I guess I should buy this shirt I used to like this band yeah and uh, I did and then I forgot about it for weeks you still it was like from America or something do you think it's still pure at heart or uh yeah but it hurts <laughs> <laughs> yeah I it's think it's rough I think Caleb has the potential to be a bigger weeb than I am. Like, he'll he'll say stuff, and him and Catherine will say things that I couldn't possibly ever say. I don't even want to repeat it on stream. It's no, too... It's, uh, it's too weeb. Or, like, you know... Do you want to come have a barbecue with Liam's tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah, do it. I just have to... Mm, we, well, need, we need fresh blood. I need to take care of the lawn over the, over the weekend at some point. Just come to Liam's. I don't even know where that is. Uh, it's like near mine. It, was he your former roommate? Yeah. The guy who stole the remote? Yeah. That guy? Clyde will be there. Alright, I know uh, that guy. Liam's friend, uh, I forget her name. Val? Chris? Something. She goes by two names. I don't know why. Plan just uh, pop some, some shrimps on the uh, body. That kind of thing. My friend Steve is going to be there. Steve? Have you met Steve? Steve Blight? Steve Fox? Steve Blight? Uh, Steve Blight, no. for anyone in chat. Steve, and Steve Blight. That was almost like an evil villain's name. My friend Beckett, you, lis you listening wolf, is going to be there? I know that guy. I don't know, are you guys, are you guys you've got a cop, in, a cop amongst your midst? He's going to crack down on all your illicit behavior. No, he's going to prevent any... He's going to prevent any Beckett. dabs from happening. No, I... He's going to step in I'm and stop it. Law. I'm above the law when I'm around Beckett. Beckett is... <laughs> he's <laughs> your crony, you've exactly. paid him off? <laughs> exactly. You ain't getting this. this you know, he's not gonna be there, and Lewin, because he hates cops. Yeah. Yeah, he's always posting things. What a guy. He's always, he's Down for kill all cops. In, screaming into the Twitter void. Cops are not your friend. Zero likes. <laughs> kill all cops. I hope he never watches this stream. I can't imagine he would. Yeah. <laughs> you know, come to think of it. Never mind. <laughs> That's uh. Come on, this amazing game melee that's sure to sure to unfold. 50% differential already, and growing. Musket's poning. Oh my goodness. Damn, this is to He's totally... Oh, wait a minute. Musket's saying, I'm here to win. Kai's saying, we'll I'm see gonna about that, I'm going to turn up the mate. gas, mate. We'll bloody have, have a think about that, won't we? Yeah, mate. <laughs> what are you going to do about that? Oh, nothing. Just going to get hit. Yeah. Beat me if you can, bro. Yeah, nice angle, kid. <laughs> Better luck next time. Yeah. Nothing personal. Yeah. Just had to go all out <laughs> just this once. Oh, that was cool. Yeah, that was nice. That was a little bit cool. A little bit kooky. A little, a little bit of uh, A little bit of something special. Oh my. The huge. respect from both players. He said, let me shine you. And I was like, alright. I'm not doing anything. Wow. He might do something. Doing nothing two times in a row. Oh! oh! What Big. an option. Get down. <laughs> Go ahead. Get down. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead. Get down. It is actually Kai's birthday today. Wow. Really? It's, uh, yeah. Happy, happy birthday to... We got a happy what? birthday to Kai in the chat. 
Happy birthday to Ty. Happy birthday. All right, all right, all right. We'll, we'll do a proper song in the venue later. Yeah, everyone, uh, everyone, everyone, pause your friendlies. Ty, kind of such a selfless guy that he devotes himself to the the cause of esporting. Yeah, esporting up this uh, instead of celebrating his special day. You know, Ty's actually 43 today. You know, <laughs> so. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. I, think I didn't know that, actually. I think milestone of the guys left. Yeah, the big 403. Four yeah, 403, actually. <laughs> He's been around a while, actually. Yeah, they, a lot of candles. A lot of candles, you know? Difficult to blow them all out in one go. Yeah. Getting to that... Oh, my! Kai with the Kaiser. Yeah. That's, <laughs> Good that's to see his, Kai smile there. He knew I was popping off. That's his experience right there. All these years, he was ready for that. These young kids ain't got nothing. Oh my god. His old fingers. Kai always be showing people his little turnaround back air thing. And then he did it. And it absolutely did it to him. Yeah. Yeah. He just had to do it. Oh, uh, no. Through him specifically. Musk is just respecting Kai's spread zone and staying outside it. Kai was like, what if I hit you? And it didn't work. Oh, yeah. Hate oh, to see it. Wake not up work. Grab. Want a jab? Catches the jump and he's done. That was really dumb. Musk has been caught jumping into that twice now. In Winners, that happened as well. Oh, what else are you going to do? Like, not jump? Yeah, that's, that would be the other option. Or you could DI out and not get... <sighs> See, not this, is why you, this, is, this is why you guys are not in Grand Finals, and you're sitting here watching the game, being like, I would have done this. Musk gets so dumb. Why aren't I winning all the tournaments? That's what I'm like. Yeah, I often ask yeah. myself why I'm not winning the tournaments. Yeah. And the conclusion is inescapable. It's that I didn't actually enter them. Could be. <laughs> that could be the answer. <laughs> but we won't know until you do enter them. That's true. Well, that is actually the reason. Even if there was another reason, the, the primary reason is... Look, the fact is, you didn't win the tournament. And like you said earlier, there was no way... There's no world that you were. It's I just could not you were destined ever. to not win the tournament. I could not have ever won it. It was just not possible. The events were locked in stone. It's okay. I need to get my hand to break. Your it's hand? Been, you play one-handed? Yeah. Well, my the other and hand. That might be the other only, reason. Only one of them needs a break. That might be the other reason. Just for anyone in the chat, I do have a John. It's that I have saw. It's my hand uh, it got sliced. Mm. So if I lose it, the big cheese too. That's probably the reason. You know, I and mean, that could be, but. We don't want to cross out all possibilities just yet. We want to keep ourselves open. Oh, I'm sure really I'll have other see these situation. Like, uh, maybe I'll get a bit hungover. Maybe Not some will. Well. Bit of a tummy ache. Stummy ache, if you will. Stummy ache. Right, so, Kai... Well, Musk are taking him to FD this time. It is nice having a visible wound, though. Because uh, I feel like John's... You get out, of, get out of the draft. John, they're taken with a grain of sand, if you will. This guy, hold on. Stand back. This guy's a veteran. <laughs> exactly. He's seen some action. Get out of the drop. <laughs> I just didn't notice he said that for like 10 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thanks. I'll be here you know, every <laughs> other week. Possibly. If I'm not in the draft. Yeah. All right. Musk gets up a stock, but he's looking a bit injured. Looking a bit off stage. 100 nicks out of 100, shoot double lasers there and cover the downward angle. But Kai, with a different Falco and a different Falco brain. A different philosophy. Gets the edge guard a different way. A different style. A different philosophy, that's what it is. Yeah. It's, a, it's a moral objection to lasering in that situation, True. covering the options. Oh, but... On a, imagine dash dancing there and not committing to the shine. Like, you literally, by dash dancing there, you're like, I'm going to shine. I mean, I, we don't have to imagine it. We just saw it happen. No, but imagine doing it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I can. Yeah, me neither. That's why Musket's really just... He's, he's, he's always been one to really try and help out new players. He provides visualizations. Oh, so smart. That was pretty he knew smart. he could get the, tech, uh, the shine without cutting yeah. out attack. Didn't so. need to worry about the timing of that one. So smart. Some smart stuff. Just very smart. But yeah, he's looking out for the new player and yeah, he's, he's helping happy them. Happy birthday, Kai's in the chat, by the way. Happy Help birthday, Kai. Helping them visualize situations they wouldn't be able to do on their own. Kai's wearing his lucky birthday chain today. 
I swear that looks like Dante's pendant from the Me Cry 3. He looks so badass. He definitely looks like a badass, like, yeah, church man, like you were saying earlier. No, you were saying that. I was saying he looks like Dante. Dante's not a church he man. He looks like a church man, like you were saying. You know, I don't think <laughs> oh, I was saying. Oh, boom! Kick the slice. How could he slice with a blunt object? How could he slice? How could he? How could he slice? That's it was okay. clearly <laughs> the professor in the in the dictionary, with a lead pipe. Yeah, yeah, absolutely lead pipe. Bruh. Must go to the jump back that time. Kai covering something different because he expects the uh, mix up, which he gets, but doesn't get the right mix up. Or he did it again. Dash dance. He couldn't. He couldn't postulate that possibility. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Sliced up. Oh, tries to read a jump. That's yeah. hard. I think he's gonna go for the instant shine there. I think, he, I think he did actually just miss the shine. It's hard because the frame that you can jump is earlier than the frame that you can shine because of a Isaiah frame. You can't beat me out of uh, interruptible as soon as, but you can jump. That's some some tech. Yeah. So you could, uh, for instance, wave dash out of uh, the ending frames of Moth's down tilt, but yep. not dancing blade. Well, you can dancing blade because you just walk forward when you're holding well, forward. That's true. And Counter you can walk out of. But there are a lot of situations like you can't short hop double fair and then like you can't short hop fair and then forward B as soon as you could. Uh, fair, for instance. You know what sucks is that, or I wish it was like different. Was that you can't wave land after like a show hop back air? It's like just it's like you you get the you can, auto you get, you get the auto cancel. Bit. You get a what? You get to jump a little bit. If you like an instant jump wave land, like you press Y and then L on the next frame, you get a, a pretty much wave land. Not that bad oh, anymore. that's pretty wild actually. That's PPU deck. I I, that. Like PPU like had a small video about how it was new tech, but actually I feel most moths would have figured that out. On their I own didn't know time. you could jump out of those ending frames though. So. Yeah you can. Shutting him down with his lasers. Nice Hitting him down. Up shine there, I like that. Yeah. Put him in place and then just took advantage of him. Gets the wrong the I read, goes to the top platform and then tries to like continue pressure on the platform. Oh you got locked into place there. Oh, uh, SA Nick would have dashed it actually not dead. Would have sent him up, up wise. Yeah, but SA Nick ain't in grand finals. And there seems to be maybe some conclusions you could draw from that. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Slash. <laughs> Cut him up, <laughs> folks. I'm, like, I'm being sliced. My reputation's being sliced. Look that much. Oh, fade in there. Risky. Especially because you're not really going to get a combo Ooh. off the net, so there's no reason to fade it in. Almost an inspired choice. Oh my. Kai needs to win this game, actually, to win the tournament, I would say. Yeah. You think and Muckin's about to much. clutch. He's clutching. I don't know. Is he? He is. He's clutching. Oh, is look. he? Oh, he is he, he clutching or is he not? Yeah, he's clutching. I don't know, he's dude. Choking. I he's don't choking. know. Oh. Yeah, Musket's choking now. He went oh, from clutching to choking. He's again. choking, bro. Yeah, that's yeah, it's over. It's over. You can tell as soon as he drops that one thing. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Kai with the Ooh. manic facial expression there. That was almost very cringe. He was. His face was saying "yikes," and if you could lip read, he might have actually said "yikes." <laughs> but what I can't. I cannot. There was "yikes" in his eyes. I'll tell you that much. Jinkies. It was yeah, a little bit of jinkies. Apparently the boomers will remember. Ready, go. Uh, I, I love Velma. I, True. I mean, who doesn't love Velma? Velma is the best Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I'll take that I to mean, the grave. What about Scooby-Doo? I think he's Velma a little bit better at being Scooby-Doo. Scooby -Doo. <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to keep your fetishes away from me. <laughs> right? <laughs> No, it's Velma, then Shaggy, then Scooby. Right. Are the best Scooby Doo's. What about the? Haven't you seen the the side spin-off series where Shaggy and Scooby inherit his uncle's fortune and they become like spies? Or like they use his like technology to solve crimes? Haven't yeah. you seen that side side series? It's a real thing. What about it? Haven't you seen it? <laughs> yeah. What about it? Have you seen it? I've seen all Scooby Doo's. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, how do you rate it? Oh, it's alright. Sorry. Okay. Does that have? Uh, I don't remember how much Velma was in it. 
Uh, I don't think they. Uh, none of the rest of the gang was in it. Yeah, that was that was in, in my view the main flaw of it. What about the one where oh, like the Randall get involved and must be getting involved in a nice angle. What about, saying, <laughs> what about the remake that had romantic subplots? Which do you mean the live action one? With no, no, no. It was a, it was an animated series. Who was uh, Velma romantically linked with? Shaggy. I, I, I like that. I ship Velma and Shaggy. There you go. Because it's the straight edge, like, nerd librarian and huh? the stoner weirdo. I, don't, I, I didn't see all the episodes. Well, I don't the know. Thing. Could be true. I mean, they are kind of like bros. That's like in uh, Kath and Kim when Brett only pays attention to Cujo and not Kim. <laughs> That's a reference. Bro. You like that? <laughs> I don't know if I do. I don't know the reference. So it's unquantified. Wow, that was a quick game. Wow. Game luckily, five. luckily Kai had that buffer. Luckily, we weren't watching or talking about the match because it was it was quick. It was yeah, you know. Uh, it's two two. That's the important thing. It's two two. Kai's still got. Kai's got to win this to reset, and Musket's got to win this to take it home. You know, this could make this could mean a lot in these young young kids' future. Yeah, this is a pivotal moment in both of their careers. I would say. Mm. If it doesn't work out here, this could be a change wow, of the guard they, moment. They, they can go home and watch uh, Scooby Doo in the Isle of the Scooby Doo and the whatever the WWE spin-off movie is called. Have, have you seen you, that? Have you seen Kai run? He kind of runs like uh, like a Scooby Doo character. <laughs> <laughs> I think you see like you mean like he walks like uh, like a Belmont character where he, like strides <laughs> forward. <laughs> no, he has to pick up. He gets the little little runny legs and then he you know takes off. <laughs> <laughs> Man. No. <laughs> like, have you seen? Have you seen the? Um, it's like one scene you need to you need to see of the WWE Scooby Doo crossover movie. That was insane that that back up happened, by the way. Okay. The one before. Well, there's there's a scene where the gang is running down like the side like a like a WWE. Canyon. WWE. No, the, the Scooby Doo gang is running Look, down the side. Look, it's Game Five, by the way. <laughs> I know, but I need to get this out. They're running down the side of a canyon. <laughs> And a boulder's coming after them. The boulder's coming after them. And they reach the end, there's nowhere to go, and the boulder's about to like push them off the edge and they're gonna die. And then out of nowhere, his theme music starts playing, and John Cena leaps across the canyon, lands in front of them, catches the boulder and hurls it off into the canyon. That's cool, because like John Chad. Cena actually has a lot of experience wrestling against the rock, so that would Ooh. come in handy in that situation. There you go. Speaking of a rock. Looks like Kai's been put up against a rock in a hard place. <laughs> yeah. He needs he's to find his way out. He's got a big rock at a mountain to climb right now. Yeah. He's got a windmill in his face. Well, he's got his a gun and a pair of boots. Maybe Kai needs to take some inspiration from the transformation and transform his own playstyle to uh, take this game. Yeah. He's yeah. got this opportunity. And he starts off with a nice back air. Ooh. Which you love to see. Certainly. Just trying to oh. keep him out. Oh, he's shielding. Ah. We can finish this. Oh, oh it's scary. Musket just nearing. Oh. He's saying, let me wake up and nail you. The guy's saying, yeah. What a short. And that would get hit if he forced him to think. Oh, tries to big read the full up. Yeah. Musket finding these really good oh, moments okay. to nair in against Kai's lasers. <gasps> you love to see that happen if you're a Kai fan. I love seeing that happen. I love you seeing love that, to see that happen. I love to see that happen. It's happening. <laughs> it's the beginning of the end. Oh you my god. You hate to not see that happen. You just it just really ruins your day when it doesn't happen. Wouldn't be a melee tournament if you didn't see that happen. <gasps> oh. Anish, he started up. Ah. No. This is just he like that one tried. scene. Oh, must be landing on stage. He's a bit scared. Oh, Kai capitalizing. Expertly Are we going to get a him reset? Off the stage like Is this the biggest that moment of up the canyon? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. just absolutely pushing that boulder up the hill like uh, Sisyphus. Like Sisyphus. Yeah. Except he's except he's had <laughs> enough of this. Sisyphus. He was like, I'm going to do this forever. Kai. He's like, I'm, I'm going to. He like taking inspiration from a legend of our time, John Cena. Deals with the problem in another way. He just gets rid of it. Yeah. He doesn't have to deal with that anymore. The thing is, like the guy from the New Zealand Smash documentary said, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. And that's the problem with Sisyphus. Yeah, <laughs> come on, Sisyphus. <laughs> How long have you been at it for? Get it together, mate. Like, obviously, like learn from your mistakes, bro. Like, how long have you tried pushing that boulder up? Maybe you should think of something else. 
Oh, oh my! It's starting to happen. It's starting to happen. Oh, what a grab! He's crazy. Oh, I poked. oh wow! Goes for the run up shine there, presumably. Punched in the mouth. Oh my, that's big. Oh, that's a really weird choice. It was a, it was a choice of a genius. It's very clutch ledge dash from Kai. Kai is putting it all on the line here. Just around. Gets the grab. Yeah. What a punish! Kill him. That's the eye. Still living, but he couldn't live that. Yeah, Musket. Kai was playing clutch. He he was ledge dashing. He was moving. Clutch that. We're in for another set, boys. Kai was ready to win. And Musket. There were a couple of games during that set Sorry? where. Uh, what did, did he just ask? What the set count was? No, that was the first set. Oh yeah. right, yeah, yeah. There were a couple the of games set. during that set when Musket had a bit of a lead, and he kind of crumbled a bit. Like first game where it looked like. Musket had the clutch. Maybe Kai just outplayed him. Do you ever think of that? I think Kai is just in a... Look at it. He's got his chain on. He's, he's, he's looking good. Feeling good. He's got he's the power of the amulet. What? What did he say? Uh, uh, I guess I'd lean over and click a button. Nah, Jack can do it. <laughs> <laughs> what have you set it to? Oh, you've already said it. So I just have to click the click the numbers, I All guess. Right. So we're starting on FD. Final D, that more, like, more like initial D. That might be a problem, though. Is that an anime? That's an anime, right? It is. It's about cars and driving down mountains. Yeah, so it's also relevant to the first stage in this uh, engagement. This skirmish, if you will. Is it? How's it relevant? Because it's not the final D, it's the initial D. I guess. Honestly, I don't actually know why it's called initial D. Probably because it's the first D. Mm. I haven't seen it, but that would be my guess. I don't like, think there's any Ds in the... No Ds in an entire fucking anime? What's Maybe. the point? Oh, he's, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> that was good. Oh, it doesn't stop it at the right spacing to get that. Is Kai letting these up throw back as rock, trying to catch double jumps, but putting himself in a little bit of a sketchy situation if Musket doesn't. Whoa! Go. Get mad, kid. He was like one place, then he was another, and then he was dead. Kicks! It kicks, kid. He's pumped oh. up kicks. Oh my. Good. Oh! oh, right. oh. And the clean uh. ledge grab to finish uh. it. Uh. Oh. I wish I could just like... I don't know. I feel like there's some like... We could play a sound clip of like a character dying in a game. Like, a do like an old like Doom clip or something. Jumbo. Oh! What the fuck? He sounds like Zone. That's, uh, that's Banjo. He says Jumbo and then he screams. Jumbo. Oh, oh. I think he says uh oh. No, he says Jumbo, and I will oh, I will oh, not oh, hear another oh. word of this fucking blast. Oh my god, Musket starting off this first set, not too great. Musket saying Jumbo. <laughs> uh oh. I know, like, I actually listened to it later in life and realized it did in fact say uh oh, but it, it will always say Jumbo, and it's Mandela effect that it doesn't. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. He's starting to, starting to make it a bit more respectable. He's saying, You can't three suck me, Kai. Oh. You can't just three suck me, Kai. <laughs> Oh, big. Tech shine. This is like what you This is Marilyn Monroe. This is the thing. <laughs> he's hitting him harder than he's getting hit. He's oh. getting, back, getting back up. He's like, uh, he's like, tub thumper. You when know, you I can't get get knocked down, but I get up again, kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. When your house gets blown up by creepers, but you put it back together, it's that kind of feeling. Yeah. It is that kind of feeling. It's got that. Musket saying, get up, get get up from that up smash, kid. Bruh. <laughs> Brew. Kai reeling that. from that kick to the face. Whoa, he's going to be reeling from that. This is some Kill him. Oh, he could have killed him there. And now it's oh, one grab. Reset. Yes. Reset. Smart. So smart. So smart. Very intelligent. Much reset. Oh, wow, the he dies away. The tip of the, the boot. Trying to get the perfect drift. Tip of the boot. Kai takes game one. Jack uh, deathly updates the scores. Uh... Kai, looking strong on his birthday. What the hell? Why stores in the chat? He was here a while ago. Who the hell is that? He's a guy. Grab. Oh, it's happening. Yeah, true combo. Probably. Not really. Maybe. Wow. Gonna absolutely. Do West in the corner. Wow, really lucky to get sent. What a read! That away. What a read! Totally not just an accidental jump. Probably was a read. Yeah, probably was. Uh, sorry, oh, it, was, it was a read. I'm, I'm sorry. Doesn't get the grab. He gets the drill, but not the grab. <gasps> this is like when uh, Leffen beat Espa, and he said, "Espa doesn't even hit the bread and, and butter." He said, he uh, "Keep it 100, kid." And uh, yeah, he said, "Peace." 
uh, hot rare. <laughs> and he, and he flew off on his uh, Catch me outside, how about that? <laughs> Another classic Leffinism. Yeah. What a guy. Ooh. Honestly, Leffin has been responsible for so many cultural uh, moments that we hold dear. Like the dab, for instance. The dab, yeah. When he first, uh, when, when he, he first dab, when he first innovated right before eyes. Straight he, up to five o and chillin' dab, chillin' chillin' dab, but he pulled it out. <laughs> we all remember the first time we saw the dab from Levin. Uh, uh, thus influenced yeah. the culture. In a negative way, but... In a profound way, honestly. True. In a way, I mean, who am I to ascribe good or bad to such a momentous There's event? no good or bad, there's only dab. That's pretty deep, bro. Ooh. Oh, wow. Just Choosing not to the grab ledge. the ledge. He doesn't want that invincibility. He wants the other kind of invincibility. When he ledged it. Oh, he could have... Oh, <gasps> cowardly. Slipping and slide. Cowardly edge guard. Oh, That's where you, you going, get, kid? You get punished. On the way back to stage, he's living. Oh, no. Muscle needs to be brave. Uh, needs to be oh, brave my God. Shame. I was expecting up, but he, he went for it all. Muscle winning, though. He is winning. But Kai is up in the set. And this is Muscle's counter -book. Which character and friends do you think Kai and Musket are? Um, I reckon Musket's a moniker. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's for sure. Kai might be like a Phoebe. Or a Rachel. No, sure. I don't think he's a Phoebe. I think he's more like... Um, no. It's hard to say, really. Musket is such a moniker. Oh my god. It's a who? Musket. It's a moniker. Yeah, he's definitely Monica. That's 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 done. so obvious. <laughs> that's hundred <laughs> percent. But like, I don't think Kai's like he's not Joey. He's not Ross. He's not. He's got a bit, of, a bit of Ross and a bit of Joey. I, I think he's got like a bit of them, but he but he's not. I don't think he's definitively one character. Yeah. Oh! oh! Destruction. Kai swagging. Swagging to his death. This swagging is a swag out overload. With his out, and uh, unfortunately, his baggins got caught on the ledge there. He tripped. He tripped and Musket was there standing over him laughing. Yep. Classic Musket. Yeah, real Musket Always the first one to laugh at the misfortune of another. True. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing you take away from tonight's stream, you take away that. Yeah, he's not the nicest person, but he gets results. <laughs> <laughs> And that's the thing about winning, you know? It's not its not called uh, friend sports, it's called eSports. Yeah. It's not called winning for nothing. It's because uh, you have to be in and to win. This game looking pretty even so far, but it must have the momentum. All of a sudden, you know. Just like that, the momentum shifts. Bruh. It's a topsy turvy world. What it's an crazy. explosive game this is. Boom. Walks forward. Beautiful and connection. F smashes. Beautiful connection. Superb. Sublime. Uh, in the words of uh, Ray Hudson, magisterial. It was truly a Patricia, a patrician choice yeah. to go for that. I, like, no one in the chat is going to know that reference. I don't know that reference. It's just the soccer commentator who really likes Leo Messi, and every time he commentates, he's like, Magisterial! <laughs> oh, you can say that again. <laughs> Saw something big? What a poke. Oh, Was that even a poke? I soccer shine sucks. It blows. <laughs> so true, bro. Falco's a low tier. I oh, mean, good jab. Punch. I don't think we'll get any more true off of that musket business, but. True. I'm actually telling the facts right now. Opinions have gone out the window. Beautiful punish. Really nice height of a side B to be difficult for Fox to punish. Finish him! He would have had to quickly short hop back air, which could have worked. Finish him. But sometimes foxes are not ready to show up aerial quickly on reaction. Go for the heart, Osborne. Yeah, uh, uh, exactly. That's the truth. Who's Osborne? Igor. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> we could rule this city, Spider-Man. He's uh, okay. Okay. You don't know your lore? I don't really... I thought you were a boomer. I thought you liked the old ones better. I don't really like cartoons. They kind of, what's the point, you know? Yeah, I rather, mean, rather we all die world. anyway. Rather live in the real world, you know? We all die anyway. What's the point of watching a cartoon? Exactly. Oh, no point. Calls out that jump, bro. You're gonna pay for that. Where are you double jumping, kiddo? <laughs> You're double jumping to the blast zone, mate. Uh, uh, oh, you hate to see it. Oh, you love to see it. Cast your vote below. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> like Press 1 if you hate or love to see it. If Press you, 2 if you're indifferent. If you love to see it, subscribe down below. If you hate to see it, hit that subscribe button for more uh, for more games. Hit that subscribe button and maybe leave a comment on what I can improve. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always open to feedback. And uh, fat money. Oh, you hate to see that. Oh, you, you love, love to see, to see that. Uh-oh. Do you, 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 you see it? All right. That's the truth. He's only one game away to, from clutching this. Musket, he was he was ready to take this whole tournament, and now he's in the he's in the dumpster. That's hit him with a quick six four. Might he be. could have ruled this. Spider oh, man, born. Is that right? I the hard oh, oh, big roll. Impressive. That's a classic line. Oh, Muskie's punish is not quite clean enough for this stage, this level, this battle, this uh, land. It's a <laughs> land of many, <laughs> many games. Oh. Uh, He's got no jump, bro. He's dead. Imagine. He's not dead. He's okay. a magician. He He's a patrician. To, he needed to jab as he was going past him so he'd have time to mentally get ready to like, grab the ledge. Because mm. I think he just didn't know how low Kai was going to go, and then he was afraid to wave dash to the ledge. Like, obviously he could have oh, done you it. you see so. that? He's totally psyched that dude out. He's, like, just smooth in front of his face, gets him to jump. And People really out. be not grabbing the ledge. They want to be on that stage. Oh, look, dude, he's trying to earn his wins. All right? Yeah, no, everyone's just going to grab the ledge like a melee player. You know? Uh, Fucking melee players just want their wins handed to them easy. Just grab the ledge and he's dead? Come on, what's the fun of that? Oh, what a read, dude. That was cool. That was an unorthodox option. He's living. He's dead. You can't DI that to the side. You gotta DI that up or slide. All right. Musket trying to prove that this is his stage. Because Kai did win here last time, right? This was, this was game one of this set, which Kai won. Oh, shine boost. Oh. <laughs> What a crash cancel. He was crashed. He seemed to be in the air, but Kai knew best. Oh, no he tech. Was saying, no, I'm on the no tech, no life. And Kai poised to take this after a very convincing Wait a minute. From wait a games. minute. The momentum is shifting. I can feel it. No, uh, I can't it goes. Feel it. it goes. Oh, wait a minute. Say that again. Can you, are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? I'm not feeling any momentum shift. I'm feeling Kai with the momentum. You feel Kai shifting into next gear? Oh, yeah. I like that. That was good. That was smart. He went down there. Musket needs a big suck here. Ooh. Beautiful poke. Musket's content with little 1z, 2z combos. And yeah. uh, sometimes you got to go for the, the big, bad 3z, 4z's. Maybe he's going for the long haul. Saving his energy, you know. Gets a grab. Good. Oh, good. my. Baits it out. Baits it out. Punishes. That's good. But technically, it wasn't truly a punish because oh, there was a whiff punish. Kind of, but he could have done something else to stop that whiff punish. But he shine. Yeah, it? but like shine, you can cancel it like frame like five or something. Yeah, or it's a jump squat. Yeah, which you can then cancel into grab, bro. Let <laughs> me shine turn around grab <laughs> yeah. in, in the air, in like the middle of nowhere. Wait a minute, potential last stock for musket. Gotta make it count. Will he do it, or can Kai take the tournament and thus cement his place get out as there, the but best too fast. melee player in history? Musket lives to breathe another day. Brings it to a game five. This is it. This is the final game of the night. Is it going to be the reign of Musket continuing, or the beginning of a new era? I thought you said at the beginning of this, Kai was kind of running over people. Now the story has totally shifted. Musket, the veteran, undefeated. In never Australia. been defeated once. Never been defeated. Never even looked like being defeated, honestly. It's just never happened before. Cleanly 3-0 Kai in winners finals. But Kai with resistance. Oh my oh, god! Ah! Oh, he could have. That was so. That could have been. 
ridiculous. Yeah. I feel like Kai is like the, the Jedi and Musket's like the, the Empire, you know? Because like we were saying before about their respective personalities. Yeah. <laughs> and Musket's in, the, in the Jedi vampire alignment. Oh shot. my! Maybe Kai's like the, the Goku and uh, Musket's like the Vegeta. You should have said the Naruto. <laughs> True. Well, that's good. I like that. That's good. Musket's smiling. I don't that's know. a, that's I don't a know bad sign. He needs to get zoned when in. Goku smiles. Well, I mean, it could be anything. Exactly. Well, he's Vegeta. And Vegeta never smiles. Yeah, he does. There's uh, at least like a few, like when he's killing people. I haven't seen him during Z, so I wouldn't know. There's a scene where he like he kills a dude and he smiles. I've only played the Dragon Ball Z fighting game, but not the recent one, the 3D one from like 10 years ago. Oh yeah. I mean, that must have been pretty pretty recent. It's 3D game, you know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I'm not that old. It's kind of cool. Beautiful. I'm definitely old. You might to think that ain't Falker, but that is. Um. Come on there. You don't seem like the type. You know, all the the wrinkles and the, the white hair. I don't have wrinkles. I did have a couple of white beard hairs, which I was very hyped about. Cool. I really cannot wait to be a salt and pepper man. How cool is that going to be? If I had a salt and pepper beard, that'd be so sick. Like oh, no. colored hair, salt and pepper beard is very. I cool. don't want to assign value to your uh, subjective. You don't have to assign to it. It intrinsically has value. Ah. Uh, right. <laughs> Ooh. Whoa! Absolutely teched. Got him an extra. Got, an, got him an extra stale move on Kai's. An extra uh, one second of life. Before Kai choked him out. Like Naruto did to Goku. Yeah, in the famed battle of episode season five. Yeah. Of initial D. Avatar. What? Oh. Okay. <laughs> <Boom, Bender. laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is looking. I'm uh, not gonna lie. This is looking pretty jinkies right now. Uh, oh, that was a nice punish. Musket looking like a Scooby snack. Ooh, you can just you can just eat him up. Kai actually with a sick lead. Kai actually eating Musket up like a Scooby snack. A is rack, he gonna clutch it out or is he gonna get snacked up? Is he gonna get put away in the lunchbox? The thing about Scooby Snacks is they have low in nutritional value. If you keep snacking on Scooby Snacks, then eventually you're going to burn out. The thing is, they last. They've been going all oh. these years. They've still been going. All the way from the 50s when you were born. Yeah, but I feel like the timeline is not... You know, there's a lot of different Scoobies. This is literally his last stock of the tournament. He's got to make it work right now. Maybe it's the first stock of the rest of his life, though. True. <laughs> That's what he's got. He's, he's got to make it. Got to make it work. But Kai's trying to cook. And is Kai going to be crowned the king of SA, or is Musket going to retain his crown as the king yeah, of SA? Yeah, as the undisputed, never <laughs> lost before once. <laughs> oh, he really wanted that taking place. It doesn't get oh, oh that. double sign. Oh, Musket's going to play really safe now. But right, he's, dead. he's dead. He's dead. This is over. It's done. There's no way he can make it back. And there you have it. Well Good played. set. Well played. Well played. Well played. I. <laughs> And Kai, Kai taking it. the king of melee, takes it against Musket. Redeeming his performance a shadow of his in winners, self. where he lost. Now he takes two straight sets to win the whole thing. Dominant. Dominant, decadent. As dominant. And Musket looking despondent. As dominant <laughs> as John Cena was over that boulder. <laughs> iconic scene. Musket just gave me the finger. Yeah, fuck you. Bruh. <laughs> Why? I don't get it. See, this is it. This is it. You know, it's like we were saying, Musket, really an evil Musket, person. This is like I was saying before. Musket's personality leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah. <laughs> and there's the proof <laughs> is in the pudding. You couldn't see it, but, you know, the truth, will, the truth is out there. Yeah, the, uh, the proof is in the eating of the pudding. <sighs> well, there you have it. This is it. That was it. It's been lemons. It's been... Catherine. Shaggy. Raggy. Raggy. And Raggy. Who's going to interview Kaiser, the king of melee? The man who <laughs> runs like Shaggy. <laughs> Can I interview him? I run like Shaggy. Allegedly. You'll, you'll have to ask my co commentator about that. <laughs> Kai, take a seat. You've earned it. You've earned the right to hey. sit hey, on, man. The, on the winner chair. Congratulations. Thank you, man. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. That's good. You played um, well. Yeah. Towards the end, I finally put it together. I felt like you really held it together in the little clutch 
could go either way, lost stock situations. Towards the end, I was just like rolling where I could. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you were you were brave enough, especially in the first set, to go for ledge dashes. Oh uh, uh, yeah, in lost yeah. Stock situations. There was a couple that. Didn't and there go were two so good. two games that it really looked like Musket had the momentum, and then you were able to stay calm, stay composed, and you really had the mental edge. I felt in those games. Thank you. I appreciate acknowledgement of my mental game. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Is there anything in particular you're proud of? Uh, not, not hella much. Um, I think the only thing that I could really like, I don't know, maybe I'd like laser musket in the corner and read him like just full hopping out of shield a couple times. Happened on, like on FD and uh, Battlefield a couple and I don't know, musket's not really ready for really quick backheads from Falco. Um, because he kind of like plays the really quick nair game sometimes and that fucks me up. So like. He just needs to get used to the, where the bears are kind of come out. That's one thing I noticed. You were definitely willing to go for the the bed at all full hop back air, and he would jump into it a lot of the time. Yeah, I guess and I was like, I think the main thing is like on the stage like Battlefield at least. If I if I don't get it, I get to top platform. If I like do it in the right spot, yeah, at least I get to top platform. And then if he tries to punish, I at least have a shield up. So it's. Mostly a losing situation for him if I like get him in that like position. And he got a couple of nice clips this tournament actually. I saw the combo against Kath was really cool. Oh uh, yeah, I like that yeah, one. That was good. <laughs> I like that one. I've got a couple good combos on Kath lately. Unfortunate, really. She's just not that good at DIing Falco, unfortunately. Yeah, I think a few little things she needs to. The work big on thing is just obvious. SDIing up their lasers. Also, going off stage to edge guard was one thing she could. Have yeah, she just. On. Stay at the ledge. It's floating. been that way for a long time. Mm. That's something we can work on. Yeah. Any uh, any shout outs? Shout outs to you for coming. Oh. Thank you for showing That's up. That's all right. I'm and glad to be here. It's I like seeing you, man. Oh, I like seeing you. Guys. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it was good. I had to drive around Adelaide for half an hour trying to find a park because my oh, test match right. is on. But yeah, um, eventually yeah. found some found a park. It's fucking rough. It was looking like I was like, oh man, this might not be a great tournament to stream, but like at least some at least we got. Oh, thank you. And must nice. gracious Twenty four dollars. Thank you. Handy Kaya's money. He's not so bad. He's not so bad. <laughs> I appreciate him running the tournament with Jack when Jack uh said he wasn't gonna come. So I appreciate it. I appreciate him taking it upon himself to do that. And yeah. like I don't know. I'm really uh I'm really happy with Adelaide. Like I love Adelaide now. It's good, it's a good place. Like, Gonna have a lot of interstaters here next week. We gotta right. show them the ropes. I was like starting to get a bit worried about Big Cheese because like we got like 200 people coming. Is that a lot or a little? We had 77 last year. That's more than last year. So, but I I think the ulti guys will do a good job. That's the main thing. I'm just like, oh fuck. I hope nothing like I think I hope shit doesn't go really bad upstairs because that's the only thing. Everything should be fine. I'm then. sure it'll be fine. People have fun. People like yeah. the game. Yeah. Well, at least melee players like melee. Don't about ultimate players. They probably <laughs> like it. I hope that some of them come downstairs for like when top eight happens. That'd be nice. Yeah, sick. Looking um, forward to it. Big cheese too. Next, yeah, next week. Uh, I don't have a scene for it here, but um, yeah, you just have to trust me for it. Yeah, Go I to smash.gg slash big cheese too. Easy. I gotta take like three days off melee because I like chunked my hand yesterday. Didn't yeah, I? what happened with that, man? Uh, I like. You're alright. It's not the what. <laughs> it looks pretty bad on stream. It looks actually. really bad on stream. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a fucking gash. Uh, well, I was playing indoor and there's like a yeah. net. And uh, damn, that's brutal. <laughs> it looks so nice. It's actually, dude. it's like, the, it's more bruised than cut. But um, hey, Stores, thank you for the sub. Happy birthday. I think that's what it said. Yeah, anyway. happy birthday, Kai. It's um, not my birthday. <laughs> but I yeah, wish. there's like a little like pegs holding in the net to the ground. Oh, and I, like, fell fuck down those. And <laughs> Fuck those. On, like, a little metal divot on the ground. And, uh, yeah, it's bad. That's, yeah, rough, dude. I hope it's all right by next week. I'm sure it'll be fine. I, I probably could have played today. It just would have been, like, a lot. It would have been a bad yeah. idea, though. Yeah. You got the splice buff coming into Big Cheese. Yeah, I got a bit of a download on all the competition here. That's nice. Yeah. wonder what that's like. Can't, can't relate. Anyway, let's wrap it up. I want to pack up. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate everybody uh, chilling in the chat. I really appreciate everyone hopping on the commentary. It was lovely having everyone here. I'm really excited for Big Cheese. Um, now I'm going to host you off to another stream, and I'm going to be on my way. I'm going to be packing it up. Um, but, yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. 
I will host whoever is live who is in my circles. Um, yeah, and thank you, stores, for for subscribing. Thank you, Hobo Bloke, for a whopping two thirty three bits, man. Oh man, good stuff, actually. Thank you, man. I really appreciate you, Trav, for supporting the boy. If anyone else wants to support, you can sub subscribe. At the very least, please follow the stream. We'll be streaming our major tournament next week. You should follow so you can be up to date. And also follow Couch Warrior Smash everywhere. Um, so I'm going to probably host... Let's see. Who's streaming Melee, maybe? I'd like to know. Who's streaming Melee? I think... <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, Fess is streaming Melee. Okay, everyone goes and watch Fess. Tell him I said hi, um, that I'm packing up, but I'm hosting the boy. Anyway, peace out, everyone.